In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best passing concept in Madden 23. It comes to us out of the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. If you would like to get my entire uh, New Orleans offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. But New Orleans offers a lot of variety. It's very multiple offense. You can audible around a lot in this year's game. That's really probably one of the better ways to be playing the game. But also has this formation, which I think is arguably the most complete formation in the sense that you can run out of it, you can pass out of it at a very high level, and that is this tight offset tight end. Now, the play that we're going to be going over today is a setup out of the PA shot seams, but some audibles that are really good is to have Saint Spot Shake here, maybe have zero one trap, and then you could also, if you wanted to put, if you wanted to come out in PA shot seams, put the Saints in play. These kind of four key plays here, when you combine that with PA shot seams, make a really, really good offense. Again, if you want to get my entire New Orleans offensive ebook, the link will be in the description down below. Okay, guys, so uh, how do we set this play up? All you really need is a slot apprentice on your uh, slot receiver over here on the left, or I apologize, your outside receiver over here on the left. But basically, all we're going to do is we're going to put this guy on a corner out, and it's going to create the big corner, little corner concept. And essentially, if they're running man coverage, one of your corner routes is going to have a chance uh, to be able to just burn man coverage, right? Uh, as you can see right there, like the corner route was open, we had a bad throw, but you see the idea, like against man coverage, one of these two corner routes should be able to uh, relatively easily just destroy man coverage. And of course, obviously, if you have short and elite, short out elite, it just makes it really, really good. So it's not only good against man, but it's also um, some other things that you can do. So let's say they kind of like maybe, you know, put some adjustments on the field to try to stop that. Maybe they put the guy on a third and then they man this guy. Um, so maybe they put this corner over here on the third. They take the linebacker, they man him up over there. And then, you know, kind of, again, they're going to have to start to drop coverage. You really, it's hard to blitz this formation because of how good, uh, the corner route is but this corner route over here on the left you saw right there was getting separation I don't know how I get screamed at by uh, Send three in practice mode when I have two post-ups, but that's just par for the course I guess but anyways if they do if they are able to defend Like the deep corner route then typically what you're going to be able to do is you're typically going to be able to hit the short corner route um, You see it lights up freeform outside and you're able to click on and make a catch now, where this really becomes a very valuable passing play is when they start to go to zone off of this. So the beauty of this, especially if you run this with the running back to the wide side of the field, so the corner routes are running to the short side, is there's not really a zone that's going to defend that corner route to the left outside of a really, really well either zone dropped or just aligned cloud flat it's really hard to defend this play in match coverage as well i'm going to explain why so this play is really good against match coverage because this corner route on the left typically is going to get kind of a unique little animation and a lot of times you're able to hit that also the seam streak over the middle of the field can be a potential big play one of the things that's very popular for people to do specifically out of match coverage here is you'll typically get something that looks like this and if you get this covered shell, then you'll see he'll take the kind of that misstep and you can free form and high point up and over the top, have a chance to hit that. Also, again, your corner route on the left side uh, to that outside receiver, he should be open. I will say match coverage probably gives this the most uh, difficulty in terms of how it's going to guard it. But if for what, you know, again, if they are able to stop that route, then you're going to be able to throw this route consistently just like that. So you can't really defend both corner routes. And so on the backside, you can do a couple different concepts um, in terms of what you want to do on the backside. What I like to do is create a high low. So I like to drag and motion out slant this guy. So I have the corner concept on the right or on the left. And then I have this man beater with this motion out drag over here on the right side. So you can easily, you know, put this tight end on like a little five yard in route. One of the other things I think is super underrated is to put him on a post route and that will create kind of a levels concept. And it's just really hard to defend in man coverage. Really, you're just kind of hedging your bet against man on the backside of this. And then I guess, if, for example, if they go to any kind of like, you know, double flat concept where they're trying to double Mabel you to defend this play, this is also a really good kind of mix in because what's going to happen is either you're in route 
um, either your in route or your slant is going to be wide open in the middle of the field. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. This is the PA shot seam. It's one of the best plays in the entire game because it's able to attack every coverage with a ton of consistency. If you would like to learn the rest of the New Orleans playbook, make sure that you join the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. Thanks for watching the video. and We hope to see you guys over at Patreon page.